What is up everyone? We are here with another vlog. I'm excited for this one. This time we are in Atlanta, Georgia, right outside Georgia Aquarium. It is right there, right next to the hotel. So I'm about to walk out right now to go head on over so we can go and check out this incredible aquarium. All right, so I just got a shortcut into the building here. We are here just in time for the dolphin show. This place is huge. I'm here in my seat. Definitely not sitting in the splash zone with this camera. That's gotta be 
it's so hard to hold on. Some spoon bills up there. And a scarlet abyss. That's cool. Alright, we are here in Gator Crossing. I think over here we've got an albino alligator. Let's see if we can get a good view. Heels right here. This place is just enormous. Look at this. Wow. I already love it. This is so cool. But I'm gonna go see if I can get into the Sea Line show. It said that the reserving was all gone, but. We'll see if I can get in since I'm by myself. So right now we are looking at some California sea lions as well as a harbor seal right there. All right, seats are open, so we are going to the sea lion show right now. I have never seen any area like this going into a show at an aquarium. This is so cool. It's kind of like a waiting queue similar to what you'd find at Disney World. It's so awesome. Nice smaller theater. Look at that. All right, I just got out of the Sea Lion Show. For some reason, we aren't allowed to video or take any photos during the Sea Lion Show, which was a little weird, uh, but it was cool. There, uh, like three sea lions came out. And it was fun. They just did a lot of uh, fun behaviors. They told us about the history of each of the sea lions. Uh, one of them actually was rescued, and when it got here, they did an x-ray on the sea lion and found bullet fragments in the sea lion's skull. So that was really interesting. They put, a, they put the x-ray up on the screen, so that was pretty interesting to hear about. I am starving, so I'm walking to their cafe to grab a quick bite right now. So up here, We've got a cafe called Coastline Cafe. So to order your food, you have to actually come to this little kiosk over here. I've got everything. Currently waiting for my order. I'm number 6033. All right, so for lunch, I got some buffalo chicken mac and cheese, as well as a little mud pudding parfait. And they have one of the Coca-Cola freestyle machines, so I got myself a cherry Fanta. All right, I just finished eating. Uh, I am stuffed, and that food was actually pretty good. Uh, but now, I'm gonna head over to what they call Ocean Voyager. This tank is enormous, and they have whale sharks. So we're definitely gonna go check this out because I believe that this is the only aquarium that you can go see whale sharks. So let's go check it out. Here we are, Ocean Voyager. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, I just saw a whale shark tail. Oh, wow. Oh, ooh, 
Look at that. Oh, that's huge. Oh, Will Incredible. It's amazing. It's fish and seaweed gels each and every day. The whale sharks also get spoon fed a very similar uh, type of food, but they get a lot more of it. They get around 50 pounds of food a day each. And we feed the whale sharks from boats. So we do have ropes going across the top of the habitat so that the person in an inflatable raft can pull themselves along the rope with one hand and then use the other hand to spoon feed a whale shark with a bucket on a 10-foot stick and keep a bin of food with them on the boat. The ropes are also useful because sometimes when the manta rays are flirting, namely this one nearest to me with the two dots on his belly, this is blue, our male, he'll chase around our largest female. I can't believe that I just saw my first whale sharks. They were enormous. Just having them like just swim right above my head was so cool to see. And this is the only place that you can come to get something like that. But then also seeing the size of those full-grown manta rays, so cool. I had no idea that they got that big. All right, we are here in the cold water quest. I want to see some sea otters and beluga whales, that's for sure. But right over here, we do have the beluga whales. So let's check that out. Look at that. All right, over here, we've got some southern sea otters. Over here, we've got all these puffins. Honestly, I think the puffins are the cutest birds in the world. That is my own opinion. Just look at them. How, how could you say that they're not the cutest? They're adorable. We've got another viewing of that sea otter. We've got some really awesome enrichment set up in the back. Look at all these puffins. The sea otters are being cute. Hey, little friend. All right, we are here over at the African penguins. You know, I think I might just be a little too tall for this tunnel. Yeah, me too. I went to one of them. I can't go through a second. Look at all the penguins. They're so cute. So over here we have another viewing of the beluga whales. Just look at that. 
I could watch them all day. But we are in a time crunch, so unfortunately we cannot watch them all day. Just look at that. All right, now we're gonna check out this River Scout exhibit. Starts off with a pretty cool little waterfall right here. It comes over here, we got some piranhas. Got a little turtle over here. So we are actually under the alligator exhibit that we walked through earlier. So that's the albino alligator right there. Walk through some more. It's just neat little habitats. We got some African tiger fish over here. That's cool. This is very neat. I don't know what that is. What do we got over here? Asian small clawed otters. I do not see them though. I think they actually just went in. Huh. That's unfortunate. All right, so I, see, I think that this is my second to last exhibit that I have to go through. We've done this super fast because I do have an Uber picking me up in less than 45 minutes from my hotel. So we've had to go rather quickly. So over here, it looks like there's gonna be a moray eel. I see it on the bottom. There's actually multiple of them. Look at that. So cool. Got a neat little eel right here. I'm not sure what kind it is though. Interesting. Oh, we've got some lionfish up there as well. I don't know what fish that is. Well, look at this. Huge little reef right here. I just said. I just realized that I said huge little. It's huge. It's it's not little. It's a huge little. It's a huge reef. All right, sharks. Last exhibit. Here we go. So it starts off with some projections. Not a real tank. These are just projections. Look in here. Oh, but I do see some real sharks up there. Look at that. Definitely a real shark. Let's go get a better view over here. Oh, wow. Full grown hammerhead back there. Are 
just so many viewing areas for this habitat. Just look at all those fish, there's so many of them. And there's just sharks everywhere. Oh, we got one coming right here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Right up close. So cool. This habitat is incredible. I want to dive for this habitat. They're just everywhere. But and I don't mind educating on yeah. that because I've had kids come through and be like, oh my god, they're gonna kill all the fish. It's like, no, no, no. Are they here? This aquarium is actually just so incredible. I don't even know how to put it into words to explain how cool this place is. It's huge and it's all indoor too. The fact that this is all indoors in the middle of Atlanta is insane. So cool. Now we are headed to the gift shop so I can get some cool clothing and then we're gonna be heading out. So here we are at the gift shop, Treasures of the Sea. Hopefully I can find something good. Well, I just walked out the store outside the aquarium and I believe this is called Centennial Park. So cool. We got the world of Coca-Cola over there. Absolutely gorgeous city. But now I need to go back to my hotel and get ready for my Uber. Thank you so much for watching another vlog. Make sure you like subscribe share do all of it uh this this is such a fun day it's always been a dream of mine to come to georgia aquarium so i'm so happy that i got to make that dream come true today and i know i'll definitely be back in the future